Hi, I'm Mark Tarantelli. I'm the Regional Product Manager for Three-Phase Modular Systems in North America. I'm a Business Development Manager, and this is the new Symmetra PX25500 by APC. Uh, what you're going to see here is really a groundbreaking, earth-shattering, total market changer for a high-efficiency, hot-swap, fully scalable system. This system has been in the making for a while. Uh, we originally came to market in 2001 with the only three-phase hot swap modular scalable UPS that scaled in 10 kW increments. This system will scale in 25 kilowatt increments all the way up through 500 kilowatts. Now as, as much as that sounds really good, we've also brought the green message first and foremost to the market with something that's going to run at 96 percent efficient as low loaded as 35 percent. What you see in here is a lineup and match configuration for 250 kW with six minutes of runtime. This is our side facing maintenance bypass with sub feed distribution. This is our system input output, which houses the main termination and landings for all the mains and the bypass. It can be either top fed or bottom fed. This is our power communication power section power here. We still have the same uh, capacity to have a main and a redundant intelligence module. So that way, if you're ever going to have an issue, you're still going to be up and running. Hot swap static switch, same form factor between a 250 or a 500, just a different rate. That's hot swap, and it's on wheels. The other big change with this system is now we have a touch screen. So what the touch screen allows you to do is, and I don't have a powered here, uh, apologies for that, but you can drill into the one line. So instead of just seeing a couple of LEDs and, and looking at kind of a mimic diagram, you can drill into your main input, your bypass input, all your different inverters, the DC strings, and so forth. You really get that information very rich presented to you at all times. What you have over here is the power frame. This can be configured with either one or two power frames. If you have one power frame, you can go up to 250 kW. If you have two power frames, you can do 500 kilowatts. Each one of these power modules are fully hot swappable. The, uh, not only are they hot swappable, but you can scale up as you go. So as the data center starts expanding and growing, now you have the capability to bring on 25 kilowatts in one module. And there's no secret that we're aiming right there at a blade deployment. Because again, one rack of blades could be, depending on the population, anywhere from 8, 9, 10 kilowatts, could be up to 21, 24 kilowatts. So again, we think we have it really well covered for the people that are bringing on uh, blade deployments. Uh, each one of these uh, power modules have field replaceable fans. They're DC communicated, they're also redundant. So if you lose a fan, the system's smart enough to actually spin up the other fan to a higher speed. They both run at about 30% of that. Okay. So that way, again, we don't want you to fail and have your UPS down for one of a $3 muffin fan. Uh, what you see down here also from the battery section, this is just a, an empty cabinet. What I have here is the same kind of battery modules. These are fully hot swappable. I'm not really strong. This is an empty battery uh, case. Uh, with this same kind of concept that we brought to the market with the original Symmetra PX, which means that basically you can change out a battery without bringing down the system or pulling a DC disconnect. And oh, by the way, you can have anybody from facilities change out this battery, or even some of the people from the data center, because they're fully hot swapped. There's no risk, it's really safe. The real beauty of the architecture of the system now is the way the battery strings are configured. It's not one long string of batteries, it's multiple individual short strings in parallel tied to a common DC bus. That means if I get one bad battery, that means I lose a string, I lose a short string, and I lose a portion of my runtime. So again, what that really means is, yes, I had a failure, everybody's going to have a battery failure at some point, but it doesn't take down all your runtime. It doesn't mean you have to go out and spin up the generator. Uh, the other real major uh, green message with this battery is we've extended the life cycle on this. Our original offering was three to five years life cycle. We've gone from that to five to eight year life cycle. So again, we're giving a lot more predictability of the total life cycle cost of the system because now we know the batteries are going to last a long time. If you step over to the side, um, I can kind of show you a little bit how the system is interconnected. 
These are the battery bus bars or the DC bus bars. When we're going to bring on additional runtime through other cabinets, it's as easy as six bolts and six nuts that have to be torqued down, bay up the other cabinet, and you've grown your runtime. You can bring this on day one with empty cabinets and then just populate them as you go along where you can actually increase that time uh, in the field. You just got to go to bypass to actually add any cabinets made to it. If you step over here, I'll show you the maintenance bypass. We've taken another step here to, to really optimize space in the data center as well as in the utility room. Again, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, systems out there that still uh, configure things with a wall-mounted bypass. We're trying to cut down on some of the installation costs for the end user. So again, you, you get a great solution, and then you got a wall mounted bypass. There's a lot of cabling that has to go back and forth. There's a lot of labor involved, and also a lot of copper. Copper's not cheap. So we went to a side-facing maintenance bypass. Again, this is a, a native 480 volt system. 480 volt in, 480 volt out. You have your static bypass, maintenance bypass, output breaker. The Q1, or the main uh, system input breaker, is on the front. We've also configured this with a uh, three-phase 480 volt subfeed panel. And this is a very robust design which you can actually start looking at uh, demarc demarcating parts of the data center, parts of the distribution based on the distribution, subfeed distribution breakers. So depending on the size, there's three different sizes of breakers you can have. You can have the small 100 amp breakers. You can fit 16 of those in there. These breakers come with the CTs and they come with the contact closures. It reports up all through the system firmware so you know exactly what's going on in your system. Uh, for the larger deployments, you can put up to eight of the uh, 400 amp breakers in this. Totally uh, more than most people would ever use for a, a large 500 kW system. But again, you have that capability to start uh, uh, corralling which part of the data center is operating on which breaker and report that all up through the UPS. And again, that's completely included with the system. Uh, again, as I said before, it can be top fed, it can be bottom fed, it can be placed against the wall. All the airflow for the system is from the front up to the top. There's no rear access required for installation, cooling, service, nothing. The system released November 11, 2008. I've shipped eight systems already. Uh, I got a lot more that are just flying out the door like hotcakes. Again, efficiency is a huge message today. We've brought that to the end user, but we have not uh, abandoned any of our messaging for hot swappability, modularity, being able to pay as you grow, and really to bring the most user-friendly system that we could to the market. Great.